Jeremy Gilchrist. How are you guys doing? I'm from Zanesville, Ohio. I'm a, a, a used-to-be country boy that had no idea what the world was made of until, you know, I, I, I came across an idea that I needed to uh, jump on, and it was put right in my lap. And I think the best way to start this out, as far as my background, is something I mentioned on a call the other day. I talked about uh, being sitting on the fence and how we as people can, can sit on the fence a lot in life. And that's all I did, man. I was the king of sitting, you know, and watching things pass me by. But it hit me one day, you know, just the other day actually, that, that if you're sitting on a fence in life, if you can visualize yourself sitting on a fence, you came from somewhere. So obviously you got up onto this fence because you wanted to get away from something you were doing. So I realized that's what life is like, right? And sometimes you need pulled over by people. So, because it's usually people that put you up there. You know, certain situations, certain things, and, and that was my life. I, I, I stayed around the same people, I complained about life, I had no money, all these different things. And one day, some people came in my life that just yanked me over this fence. And I needed them to help me develop a mindset because I couldn't do it on my own. Like, I was in that bad of shape. I even remember my friend Tony, who you guys know, looking at me and going, dude, you were, I was, I was shot is the best term for it, shot, right? I mean, I, I had to look at some of these people and say, just guide me, tell me what to think, tell me how to feel, tell me what to do to get my brain from here to here. And that's what happened. So how can you go from flat broke, I couldn't afford a cheeseburger two and a half years ago, to last night spending $2,000 on some friends I met from London, that, and I didn't care. You know, I'd like to show you guys how that's done, because someone did it for me. People came into my life and said, I'm gonna help you go from here to here, and I think letting you guys witness how we do it is big. You know, opening up my life, you can see, you know, what I do on a daily basis, from the music I listen to, to the calls I make, to the good days, the bad, and the crazy days too. So, that's me. I'm a dude that used to, you know, shoot BB guns at my brothers because we were bored, and, and now, um, I travel the world. We're a group of young people that know how to run a good company, and, and I think the biggest key to a good company is the atmosphere. So, what better time to educate yourself than when your emotions are flowing, when, when, when music is playing, when you know, tears are shed, you know? You, you, you will retain the most information anyways while you're entertained. That's why we can remember a song from 10 years ago, right? Because it's entertaining. So my point is, Orlando is proof. I think a lot of times in life, if we're, going, if we're, out, if we're set out to do something and we've never done it before, Sometimes you need proof, or you need to see that it's been done. Well, this, you know, Orlando's filled with hundreds of people that have done what you want to do. I drove nine hours to Nebraska by myself when I was a broke genius I told you about earlier. And I had to borrow money from strangers and send it back to them months later to get there. But when I was there, I saw these people that reminded me of me, and I heard stories, and that was the trigger for me, not just to do my salus, but just to change my life. That's the biggest thing. And you know, a lot of people say, when I was talking earlier about uh, people that sit on the fence, this is the one that brings you over the edge. So if you don't want change, don't come. That's the best way to put it. If you want change in your life, then, then go and get those people that'll help you change, that'll help bring you from here to here. That's the biggest part about it. And it's a place where people come together. In Orlando, we're gonna party a bit. I mean, to simply put, we eat for free, we get paid to share that idea with others, and we get paid to party, it's not a bad gig. So if you've never done it before, I would just take the shot to go see it. Uh, why should you watch this show? Someone asked me that once, they said, why would you watch this show? And to me, I think it's, it's powerful. Powerful, what I mean is I heard that knowledge is power once. So the more you learn about life, the more you learn about people, you know, the smarter you become. You know, if smarter isn't for you, cool. I've met some people like that, right? Um, I used to be them. I used to call myself a broke genius. Um, I thought I knew everything about life, right? My, my, my fortune was coming, um, being a broke genius. So, why should you watch this show? I want to show you how we do it. I think, you know, it's one thing to be taught how to do something. It's one thing to go to school. It's one thing to read a book. But when you can actually, you know, uh, mentor someone, when you can shadow them, when you can walk with them, when you can, you can catch their lifestyle, you know, uh, a person you want to become, someone you want to become like, then that's key. So come on in, I mean, you know, see how we do, see what we do, see why we do it though. That's the key factor, is figuring out why we do this. I think you might figure out why you need it too.